Yeah, welcome back to the Career Build Series. This is episode 93. So we're just finishing up here at the uh, at the diesel cell point. Uh, gonna start getting disconnected and get going here. Trying to go to the um, the oil gantry and uh, get ready to start picking up some oil. So let's uh, start by taking down these hoses. store all these. Alright, so those are stored and in there. Um, let's see which way the water's coming. Water's coming this way, so um, I'm not really afraid of this getting... I'm not really afraid of getting this blown away. I, I can't really um, detach it fully until I hook up with Brigeau anyways because I have an extra rope on me. But I'm going to go hook up set here. Alright, so let's put some ropes away here. Alright, how's the battery looking? Battery is full. I've had the APU on, so hasn't burned that much fuel with the APU sitting on. And let me uh, shut the spots off. I don't need spots right now. So let's hook the tow rope up. Let's see if I can reach this rope here. A um, little bit tough to reach here. Let me see if I can get it. I'm going to fall in the water anyways, probably. Let me uh, see if I can get up there. The barge is very tall now. I'm just going to fly up just to, instead of having to walk around. Let's stow this rope. All right. And we'll start by pushing back, pushing this uh, barge out a little. All right. Just kind of pushing the barge a little bit. All right, here we go. So this here up ahead is the island that I want to buy. Um, I believe that's it. That should be it right there. Let me go ahead and put in my waypoint here. All right, All right so we're underway. Heading over here to uh, the oil um, gantry. And this should give us enough um, money to buy that island once we get this oil trading done. So, we'll go ahead and um, kind of time lapse this out, and I will see you when we get there.
right, so we're here. All right, let's uh, get cozied right up here to the platform. So I'm going to go right under where the gantry is there. Um, really wish they would add or change those out to hoses. I know that's the old system. But uh, it would be nice if they changed that out so that we could uh, use it with the more up-to-date system. I'm going to start bringing this barge in as well. Open up my door, see where we're at here. We're pretty close. I never let it get very far from me. We kind of go right under here where the uh, stairwell is here. It's going to kind of be a pain to hook these up. Alright, so let's go ahead and stop. Um, I doubt I'll be able to hook the anchor to the, um, the foot here of the platform, but I'm going to try. There we go. I did. I got it. So uh, the foot of the platform here is right underneath us, so I end up hooking the anchor to it. Um, got this coming in? I do. Let me put out a little slack. I don't want this pushing up against me like that. That's uh, As it moves, it gives it a good chance of breaking something. So let me, um, let me just fly up. I, uh, it's hard to operate right now with the um, without ladders. I, uh, I've already updated that, so it will have ladders. But I'm going to put a hose on there, and then I'm going to try to climb the um, ladder. Not ideal, but it's kind of what you have to do with this. Um, you know, I can climb with these. There we go. Go get these hooked up, start filling. Filling's going to take some time, as usual. Alright, we'll make sure the pump is on. Pump's on. Okay. And uh, I can just jump in the water here. Makes it a little bit easier to uh, get down. And I'll just swim up and jump on board because I don't have ladders yet again. Get all three of these hooked up and then time lapse through that. But you can see um, my anchor is hooked to that, um, that float for the. Uh, for the uh, oil platform. Alright, so. Jump again. I need to be careful. Oh! Ah, that I don't do that. Um, didn't hurt that bad, so. Afraid I was gonna really hurt myself. So here's the third hose. This should help with getting the um, getting that set up. And I'm just gonna fly down. You know, it's a little cheaty, but um, you know, do what I have to do. I actually lined up pretty well and ended up on the right side. So we'll get ready for time lapse here. It's gonna take uh, quite a while to get this filled um, from the oil platform. Let's see, it'll go out just a hair. There we go.
All right, looks like we're coming in here to the um, refinery. Starting to get where I want to be here. So, again, uh, transit from came from the refinery up to um, from refinery up to diesel cells sold there. Got some oil, and now we're currently on our oil leg, and we're coming in the refinery to sell this oil. So. We are down to 32 bucks. Um, we spent most of our money on um, oil here. And so hopefully this pays off for us. Um, new and improved simple barge. Um, so hopefully I should be able to leave this in here and not have any issues with it acting the fool. Uh, we shall see. Um, one thing I would love the devs to do is all the tie down bollards are over here. Um, it would be nice if you put some right over here as well. Um, you have a large vessel, you know, you want to tie up both sides anyways. Um, but, you know, uh, there should be some over here, especially if you're using some of these smaller vessels. Um, you want to be able to tie off right by your, uh, your cell points here. So this should be, that's jet uh, oils all the way to the end. So we'll go all the way to the end here. Seas don't look too ridiculous in here. It's a little bit uh, bumpy. The uh, hoses should hold this barge in. I don't know if I actually got hung up there or what. Let me uh, get this cozied in. All right. Now let's go look and see what this barge is doing. Okay, it's coming along nicely. Uh, let's go ahead and shut these lights off for now. Let's go ahead and uh, start reeling in the cable. Uh, let's see. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 that's very dangerous stuff, that. I'm going to shut that door. Um, I was nervous there that that was going to sink us. It shouldn't sink us, but, you know. Don't want to do all that work and then sink at the very end, so that would be no bueno. I'm going to go ahead, uh, fuel's not terrible. Go ahead and put the APU on. If that following sea, just looking to push water in here. I need to put a bilge inside of the, um, I need to put a bilge inside there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shut off these main engines and, uh, shut that down. Oh. Well, let me shut the door. Makes me very nervous when it takes multiple tries to shut the door. Um, it's no good. I should drop the anchor. Let me... Go back in, I'm going to drop that anchor. Um, give me, try not to drown, apparently. Stern, this boat, this barge is really keeping that stern going. It's kind of hairy sea conditions right here. Alright, so that should set at some point. You can see we have water in here. I'm trying to get, there we go trying to get the waves right and I'm going to uh, detach this cable I don't know what that's going to do to me so I uh, better safe than sorry I'll completely detach and then uh, go up and start hooking that barge up hopefully uh, you know it's not going to be too wavy in here and cause us problems so um, this is the this is the oil right here uh, bit concerned this is too far away. Um, anyways, let me start getting some hoses connected. Hopefully I can get this um, if we're close enough. I'm just going to fly just to not get crushed between there. Um, this can come off. That's the old diesel that's still running. Turn that on and then I'm going to grab some oil. Um, Go. Okay, so I just want to get these hoses connected. That's going to be some uh, way to hold this on there. I'm just going to fly for now. I, uh, I just don't want to die here. Jump it in the water between. And you can see it is, um, we're draining nicely. Grab the last one. Yeah, so I'm trying to learn from my mistakes. Um, you know, when I had that big issue where uh, 
two barges were kind of slamming against each other or, you know, they were trying to reattach after a save. I'm going to end up having to save this one and come back. So I want to uh, try to do my best to, n to set this up uh, so we don't have failure. So nothing's connected except the hoses. Uh, Rigeau's connected to the... To the um, it's connected to the surface. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to get Bajo out of here. This is kind of dangerous. Sitting in here. Um, and I'm actually going to start up and I'll head out. Um, let's desync. Let's go up on one. Or up on the port. And once we get the stern around, I'm going to start coming back on the, on the uh, starboard here. I'm having issues here getting um come up on port. There we go. It's going to be tough to steer around the barge as it is. Um, so I'm just kind of doing asymmetrical thrust here to steer. Gives me nice precise steering. I'm going to get uh, Virgil completely out of here and out into open ocean there and uh, on um, on anchor. That's going to just be a little bit safer, I think. And that should be good. Put me right here. It's going to go out full anchor here. That will hopefully keep me safe. A little water in here. Um, there we go. Try to clear all the water out. That pretty much renders us as close to unsinkable as possible. Um, and that anchor will set. It's ready. Kind of want to wait for that to settle. Shut the mains down. Up. Oh. And then I have 80 gallons, um, which you know, should keep me, um, even if that APU is running for a while. I didn't uh, fill up the diesel yet. We are at 95% battery. Let me see if I can get that anchor to set really quick. It will set. Uh, once the waves start pushing us back, it will set. So I'm not concerned about that. Let me fly again. I know, cheaty, cheaty, but, um, you know, sit somewhere nice. All right. I'm going to go ahead and we'll save this up. We do empty in oil. I've been doing a bunch of saves. That way, something this big, um, you know, if something happens, it's not going to cause problems. All right, we'll go ahead, and I will go into kind of a view mode, and we'll time lapse this. Um, like right now, what is it doing? It's hooking the. See, it's hooking the bow under. It's like stuff like that that's obnoxious. Um, we try to do something here to remedy that, or protect us from that. Um, just have nightmares from the other time when we were, um, when this was acting the fool. Kind of want to, you know, again, there's no tie downs on this side, so I'm going to run out of cable here, so I'm just going to go in the drink. The new version of the barge, I, I added some ladders on there. Um, you know, it's pretty useless the way it is with no ladders. Um, so that should hopefully put a little tension on that and keep us from, uh, you know, locking under the dock because this is going to rise up by quite a bit um, once the oil is all uh, comes out. So go ahead and set up for time lapse here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully all is well. All right, see you then. Looks like we uh, have the barge empty now. So uh, let's go ahead and look at our money. So we're up to 316302 So that made some good buku money. So next up is we're going to... What's this? We have a transpo. Green tugboat. Not doing it right now. Uh, 
We're going to take uh, Rijo, grab the barge. We can take the barge out. Um, we're going to head to this island, buy it for 100k, and then I should be able to store that in there. So that's the uh, next plan. I'll go ahead and do that in the next video, I think. Um, you know what? We'll do it in this video. Um, you know, I time-lapse the journey. So let's go ahead and I'll get uh, all set up here for that. Um, that should be quick. Me, uh... You just do this. Grab this rope and tie it there for now. Um, that goes on Brigio anyways. And let's start putting these uh, hoses away. I think Brigio is probably pretty good on fuel. We're gonna I'm gonna store that anyways. All right, I need to put a bilge in there just so that doesn't empty. Um, let's go grab Brigio. Uh, right in the drinky poo. So let's head out there. Um, so that's great. That made a lot of money. That actually, um, yeah, that actually emptied pretty quick. Um, so one thing I was thinking is, especially when we have to pump up high, like that one, you're not pumping up very high. You're just pumping up, you know, that, uh, you know, maybe what, 10 feet, 3 meters, something like that. Um, when you're pumping up to the oil platform, you have to pump pretty high, and that's, um, you know, that can cause some issues. So, um, you know, I might try putting some pumps in there at some point. Let's see, where are we at here? Uh, we have 74 gallons. We're a little low. I'm going to go ahead and, um, just for safety's sake, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, put some uh, diesel in Brigeau. Um I really don't want to. What is going on here? Oh, anchor. Anchor. Anchor will do it every time. Of course I'm anchored. Wouldn't sit out here the whole time without being on anchor. So I'm going to go ahead and put some diesel in here. We have 74 gallons, which I assume should be fine to get over there. But um, better safe than sorry, I'll go ahead and I will um, I'll diesel up. Because it's just going to be a pain if I have to um, if I have to play around here. Um, let's see. I'm going to have to move this barge to get the diesel, which should be fine. I'm just going to push it out of the way here. I'm gonna just going to... Tap on stop and uh, touch. There we go. We'll just push this out of the way. There we go. Barge is moving. It's just the way it's kind of jammed in there. It's a little bit close, so getting good movement on it. All right, so there we go. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill the engines here, or uh, neutralize neutralize the engines. I'm just gonna fly. Um, I don't want this to take forever and ever. So um, let me equip the hose. That is crude. Um, diesel is here. Hopefully, I can reach the diesel. Um, oh, I'm gonna fly. I was up there a second ago, so I don't want to deal with it. Um, turn the pump on. I think these pumps seem like they auto shut off if you uh, if you go far enough away, anyways. But I'll kill that. One. I'll shut that one down. Yeah. Hopefully, grab that. Uh, attach it here. All right. So I'm, we're gonna fill up. This is the cheapest diesel in town, anyways. So um, it's worth filling up, anyways. I'm gonna just keep the hose on me. The hose goes in the barge. So I'm gonna put the barge away. Try to remember to put the hose back in it. That's plenty of diesel. Grab the hose and get it out of here. So I'm not going to worry about, um, you know, I could go and do a diesel on the way back, but I'm kind of excited about getting that island going, so I want to do that. I don't want to play around too much with uh, other things. And so one thing I was thinking is, um, oh, I am desynced. I've been running on one screw. That's why it's kind of a little bit slower than I thought it would be. So one of the things I was thinking about is, um, I have an old tugboat that um, I built a while ago, and you know I've learned a lot since then. I've thought up of some better ways to to make it a little. It's not it's not underpowered by any stretch of the imagination, but it's it's kind of just some of the game mechanics that um, you know I I've thought of better ways to um, better ways to set up the tug. So right now it's diesel electric, which is cool because you get almost instant. Um, you get almost instant reaction. It does pretty much what I want instantly, but um, 
The downside is the power's a little bit lower than I'd like, so I would like to um, kind of retrofit that tug. Um, you know, the Damon 2111 is my most advanced tug. I want to get into that, but that's definitely later. Bigger barges, bigger st stuff, um, definitely. But, um, you know, let me save this really quick. Um, that's definitely for later, um, where this is something I think would be is good for earlier. Let me shut this door. I don't want any water coming in here and cause me problems. Go ahead and shut that APU off. Um, all right, so we're going to head to our new island that we're going to buy here. So we'll head right here. This is exciting. This is the first time I think I've bought one of these islands, um, and I've yet to actually build um, a build a base anywhere. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So, um, you know, let's get heading here. Um, yeah, I'm going to time lapse this, so it'll be... Uh, won't be too long. Let me see what the time's looking like. We're going seven knots, 34, 35 minutes. So I can do like an 8x time lapse on this. So we're talking maybe four and a half minutes, something like that. So I'll uh, let this play. I'll let you guys watch. Uh, but I'm excited. I'm really excited about getting this new island. I think that's going to add a lot of fun gameplay where, um, you know, we can uh, kind of you know, be here if we want to. We can do fuel trading uh, much more expeditiously. All right, so I'll uh, let you guys watch the time lapse, and I'll see you when we get to our new island. All right, and we are at our new island here. So let's uh, let's go ahead and scope this out a little bit. I don't know what this is going to uh, hold for us, so I'm just gonna try to get close. I know the workbench is there. I think the spawn area is right here, off to the left. So. Let's get close. I'm excited about this. Getting the old. Oh, oh, what's going on? Oh, this is still on. That'll be why. I still had the uh, still had the bearing control on, so it was um, still trying to bring us toward the island. That's all right. The um, Barge is just trying to catch up. See what it's doing back there. Okay, here we go. It's close. Let's um, stop. I'm gonna go ahead and jump overboard. I'm gonna go by the island. Go ahead and save this as career build series. And let's buy the new island. So, a lot of good stuff in in store for the island here. Um, you know, we can build a base, uh, spawn, craft. Um, so very excited to do that. Let's go ahead and buy it here. So that will leave us with plenty of cash. So let me save this as backup. Backup. All right. And we are in. So um, it's good to get that island bought. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to let's get these back of the workbench. Um, I might leave Rizzo. Uh, actually, I'm going to put it away. I want to do, um, probably do some build videos. Um, I want to get moving on building this, uh, island up. So, I don't know exactly how close I need to be to the workbench, but. Let's get nice and close. Turn the game, uh, sounds up a little bit. Uh, it might give me the message too many vehicles in the spawn area, which means then I'll need, just need to disconnect for Joe. I'm just going to fly up there to make it a little bit easier. Um, try to expedite this. All right, so barge went in first. Um, so what did I want to fix on this? Um, I think it's good for now. Let's just go ahead and bring it in. Okay. And so... It, must be the build area must be a little bit behind Virgil. Let's bring that in as well. I was kind of contemplating leaving it out, but I think I'm gonna bring it in. Battery's low. You can see the uh, diesel cell island from here. So 
So I'm really looking forward to getting in there and actually trying out the tools. I, like I said, I've yet to actually build one of these bases. Why? Okay. Spawn. Workshop. Save. Oh, load. I'm trying to just figure a way to um, or create vehicle. Okay, I don't know where exactly the area is. I need the area to be able to put this back in the workbench. I need to probably get closer, I think. Switch up the spots here so I can see. I'm just flying because, like you see, I need to get back and forth to the workbench to be able to get this in there. Alright, so I'm going to anchor for now. I don't know where the spawn is, uh, but plenty of cash, so uh, I'll put this on anchor. Close the door. Um, we can just back it up here. Yeah, and we have the uh, backup battery in case we need it. Um, A good bit of anchor here. All right, so that's set. Um, let's go ahead and shut down the systems. All right, and we'll shut this door. And I'll get up. Uh, I need to shut off the spot. Spots are on the hot bus for some reason. Now the lights need to come off. All right, so we are all set there. That the lights will shut out on that once we uh, get a little bit away. And I think we'll end it there, and then uh, I think in the next one, I, I kind of want to start playing at least with um, starting to build a little base here and see what it looks like. Um, so I think that's what we'll do for next time. So uh, this was really, really good. Um, we've got the island all set up here, and um, that was a big step. And we still have Buku Cash. Rijo's still out in the world, which is worth another 30-something K, so we're talking at least 270 cash. So that's starting to get us in a really good position. So I'll see you guys in the next one.